What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Yoast SEO in under 10 minutes because there's no need for a 30, 40 minute video on how to use Yoast SEO when it's very simple and easy to use. The main purpose after all is just to change your meta title and your meta description but there are a few other things you want to make sure you change here and there to make sure you do the best you can for your SEO campaign and for your website. So let's get right into it. First you want to go into plugins. If you don't already have it installed, go to install. If you don't already have it installed, go to add new. Go ahead and search in Yoast SEO. And it should be one of the first ones. Here it is, 5 million active installations. It's very popular and by the way guys you do not need the pro version the free version offers just what you need okay there's no need to upgrade it is not worth it you get everything that you need in the free version go ahead and install now and activate I already have it activated and once you have that go down over here to SEO and you're gonna want to go ahead and go into general so first thing to be aware of is that Yoast SEO makes it very easy to get your XML sitemap to be able to submit it on Google Search Console for faster indexing. So XML sitemap is basically just a file of all the web pages on your actual website. And by having an XML sitemap, it makes it very easy for Google to crawl your pages and your website and get it indexed very quickly on their search engine. So you can go ahead and copy either one of these, go over to your Google Search Console, go to Sitemaps, and just copy and paste it, and go to Submit. As you can see, I've submitted some in the past, and it's very easy, and it really speeds up the indexing process. So that's one thing that Yoast SEO does very well, and it's very simple. Then you have Webmaster Tool here. You can get your verification code for Bing, Yandex, or Beidou, and submit it through here. And that's pretty much it for that. Go ahead and go over search appearance. These are some important things that you want to take account for. First of all, choose your title separator. I just like to go with this one. Nice and simple. Makes it real easy and simple to separate your words. So. And then with, over here when this is knowledge graph and schema, I would go ahead and leave this blank because this organization and person schema is really not that great. I use another plugin for my schema, so do not worry about this, okay? It's not important. Just go ahead and leave it blank. Then we're gonna go. Then you're gonna want to go ahead and go over to taxonomies. And for your category pages, you want to press no, okay? You don't want these to show up in search results unless you actually are using your categories for, I would say, for post purposes. Maybe you have different categories that you put your blogs into. But if you don't, go ahead and press no for that. And for your tags, you want to go ahead and press no for your tags, okay? Most people do not want their tags showing up on search results. Okay, so just go ahead and press no. Post format, make sure you go ahead and disable this, okay? Category URLs, just keep it as removed. And then go over to archives. You want to go ahead and disable your author archives and your date archives, okay? Make sure you disable both of these. Special pages, you can leave that alone. Breadcrumbs. You want to make sure your breadcrumbs are enabled because it's very good for the user experience, okay? Make sure you leave that as it is, and you can leave all this as it is as well. Content types, okay, posts, show posts and search results, yes. Okay, we can leave that as it is. That looks pretty good. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, these other things aren't really that important. You can see your organization and your social profiles. That's really just it, guys. Sitemap, 
search appearance make sure you get those pages disabled so they don't get indexed and here is the best part of Yoast SEO and why many people love it <laughs> including myself it makes it real easy to change your meta title and your meta description so go to any page then we can go over to edit Alright guys, now we're on my home page on the back end. And if we scroll down, you can see where it says the Yoast SEO. And right here it gives you a focus keyword where you can type in your focus keyword and it will it will give you a green, yellow, or red light depending on how good you optimize this. But it's really not important. It's really just a bunch of bullshit. You don't really need to follow the advice that Yoast SEO gives you okay like all of this as long as you have as long as you have the basics down you know including your keywords in the right spots optimizing for click-through rate optimizing for the user you're gonna be good to go right? and then to actually edit this you can go to edit snippet and here you can change the title the slug and the meta description okay Make sure you include your targeted keywords on here and just optimize them for a click-through rate, okay? You want people clicking on your listing rather than your competition. All right, guys, that pretty much sums it up for the this mini tutorial. This is pretty much all you need Yoast SEO for, okay? All that extra shit is not necessary. This is good enough to get you going for your SEO campaigns. All right, guys, hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial go ahead and leave a comment share subscribe because I will be doing a lot more of these tutorial videos okay let me know if you want to see anything in particular and I'll see you in the next one STOs